my channel, so I am feeling like a Kardashian princess right now. Thanks to Kylie Jenner's brand new Sipping Pretty palette. I did film a whole unboxing and first impressions and review of this palette. So if you want to know if this palette is a hit or a miss, then just keep watching. We're just going to go ahead and get right into it with the unboxing. So I always like to record my unboxings because a lot of the time stuff comes in broken. So let's see if Kylie did a good job on her packaging. We've got the standard Kylie foam pad with her packaging and here's my invoice it doesn't say how much the palette cost me because they don't want to remind you how much you paid for the palette and of course we have Kylie's little note I actually love these pictures of Kylie I think that it's just so fun and she did a really good job in her photo shoot and her little note is so cute it says thank you for celebrating my birthday with me in the most special way I can't believe this is my third annual birthday collection enjoy XOXO Kylie and here is her packaging I love the pink box by the way it's super here. here is the actual package with the eyeshadow palette in it and I only got the eyeshadow palette because it was really the only thing that stood out to me that seemed like it was something from Kylie Cosmetics that I haven't seen before um, this looks a lot like the Urban Decay Born to Run palette let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and on the inside of the box she has those little party cups I think that's really really cute here is the sipping pretty eyeshadow palette the back is like metallic, which is super duper cute, and it has all the names of the eyeshadow. I also like that she included a lot of colors. I think that was like really, really good, just because you want to have a diverse range of colors, and she did such a good job. Everything is intact, so we're doing all right, and there's just so many options, so... I don't even know where to start, but let's go ahead and get right into this palette. Before we get started, I just want to put on some gloss because I feel like my matte lip is a little bit too matte. Um, I'm going to use Plump Your Pucker. This is from the Balm Cosmetics, and the shade is Amplify. It has like a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's a gloss, and it also plumps your lips. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this on, and it might get something on my teeth. I really hope it doesn't, but I've done so many tutorials where I filmed the whole thing, and I had lipstick on my teeth the whole time. That's actually why. I like to stick to the mattes, but the glosses are just so in right now and they make your lips look so juicy So today I was actually supposed to be filming another video from the Jaclyn Hill vault But my Kylie palette came in and I was like, you know what? I'm really really excited about this one So I'm gonna do this today and then I'll find a way to get creative to get these other Jaclyn Hill reviews and tutorials to you as soon as I can But yesterday I did post my tutorial slash review slash first impressions of the Dark Magic palette, which I ended up loving. So if you want to see that, go ahead and click the link below. And I did do a full face tutorial on that. So if you want to see how I got this foundation, then you can go ahead and see what's up in the video that's linked down below. For my eyelid primer today, I just put foundation and then I put setting powder on top. So it's just all prepped and ready for me to start my eyeshadow. Just to catch any fallout, I'm going to go ahead and bake under my eye area. Okay, now we're ready. So I just love to like vibe out these looks and see what we want to do. I I'm thinking about doing something really pink, maybe something bronze. What do you guys think? Let's start with a transition color. I'm going to use this pinky transition color right here, and I'm going to buff it into my crease. Oh my god, you know what I just thought of? This looks like the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Extended Palette. What do you guys think? It just gives me that vibe like they're kind of getting at the same thing which is so crazy because they come out with a lot of similar products at the same time like their lip kits and their eyeshadows it's just so fun to watch them not really like copy each other but I don't know it's almost like they inspire each other all right so my transition is nice and snap let's do something fun let's do pink I just really want to use this color so you know what it's YouTube it's for fun I'm gonna use this pink color and see where it takes me and I'm just gonna put it in my crease Guys, the pigment on this thing is insane. The camera is not even doing it justice. Like, using stuff like this makes my Morphe stuff look like trash. This is so fun. You know what? The camera is just not doing it justice. Hopefully, when I do the completed look, you'll see, like, more of what this palette can do for you guys this is such a barbie color it makes me so happy i just want to keep putting this pink color on my face but it's definitely time to move on so now i'm gonna go into this dark like red color over here and let's go tighter into the crease maybe like just the outer and inner corners and again i'm just like vibing it out and seeing where this look will take me love the pigment is hot you guys i am noticing a lot of fallout but a lot of the time you can't get good pigment without fallout so you have to pick one or the other it's a compromise 
pulling this into my inner corners as well. Okay, Kylie, she did such a good job. Oh my God. So I'm just gonna pull the pink back over to clean up the red mess that I just made. So I'm taking the color that I just used last and I'm just buffing over, kind of like brushing through to blend everything and pull the look together. Mm-hmm. Look at this palette work. I'm loving this palette, you guys. Like, this makes the Jaclyn Hill stuff look really, really boring. I'm not biased. You know that I've hated on Kylie before. Like, if her stuff is bad, I'm gonna be straight up with you and tell you that it's bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease a little bit, and I'm kind of taking a risk here because if you watched my tutorial yesterday, you know that I kind of hated the Morphe eyelid primer. Um, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna put this in my crease, and put some glitter over it and maybe it will work for me I'm not sure but I'm just gonna give it another chance so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit onto like a flat concealer brush and I'm gonna carve out my crease so I'm, I'm carving out my crease with the eyelid primer and again it's all about experimenting I'm kind of just like filming myself trying out new stuff on this channel so you guys don't have to suffer like I do by trying out new products because the cost can add up and it can be really frustrating um, okay so I do have the crease done I'm using a flat MAC 228 brush and I'm gonna pull into one of the shimmers guys I don't know what color to use I wish this was live so you guys could like help me out um <laughs> let's highlight the middle with this one might be called party animal it might be called birthday bitch I think it's called birthday bitch and here we go I'm putting this right over where I primed it do you guys see that primer wick like I'm telling you it's all about experimenting because for some reason on my crease it's literally going on amazing so I don't know what happened yesterday with the primer. It could be that the Jaclyn Hill palette is just bad. I'm still gonna stick to what I said though. The primer is not comfortable to wear. Guys, do you see that working? I feel like I'm like fresh off of Instagram. Oh my God. So if you're about like a good cut crease, then this primer might be for you and this palette might be for you. I love these shimmer options. I'm literally about to go to Ulta and return my Jaclyn Hill palettes because I'm living for this right now. Kylie did good. Okay, so for the outer corners, because I want to do like a little halo thing, I'm kind of vibing like this or this. Let's do both. I'm going to use the pink first, and I'm going to put it in my inner corners. Yes, I'm still happy with that. This might be one of Kylie's best palettes, you guys. So I did the pink on the outside of that middle highlight, and now I'm going to take this dark purple and put it like all the way on the outside. Just like right here. And just because I'm about it, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the inner corner. Like literally the inner corner right now. You know what my face feels like right now? A birthday cake for a lot of different reasons. OMG, I love this. Jaclyn Hill is a waste of time. Let's go back into this palette and see what the black can do. So I'm going into jet black. Guys, if you watch any of my tutorials, you know that my biggest pet peeve is when a palette doesn't have a black because I love to use it as eyeliner and I don't want to pack multiple palettes just so I can have a black shadow. So Kylie did amazing on this and I'm just going to go ahead and line the top of my eyelid. I don't know if I should do a wing or not, but I feel like that's not even a question, so... The top side of the shadow is done. The lashes are going to do all of the rest of the work for me. So, moving on to the bottom, I want to keep it nice and natural and bronze, and I really do want to dig into this bronze corner over here. I'm going to use this Morphe M433 brush, and I'm using this color right here, which is in the middle of the palette. And I'm kind of just going to like put it all over, like under my eye. So for a deeper bronze, I'm using this color on the bottom corner and I'm putting it tighter onto my lower lash line. And I'm going to line my waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner pencil and this is the shade Roach. It's like a sparkly brown. Um, it's natural, but it's not, which is what I love. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my waterline. Okay, so update on the primer on my lids. You can see there's some creasing going on, so it might still be trash. So I'm basically done with my lower lash line, so I'm just going to go ahead and brush off all the bake. Okay, so finishing touches would be um, lashes and lashes. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara and put on my lashes and I'll be right back So the lashes I put on are almost famous from the lady code shop and I feel so hot when I wear them Honestly, I call them my sex lashes But um, the best part about them is that they're only six dollars and they look like this so I'll go ahead and link it down below along with a discount code for free shipping. And that's it. So you can really see how the lashes are doing a lot of the work for me with the eyeshadow look. They really just like pulled everything together and gave me that like birthday glam drama that I really would want for like a birthday glam look. Um, and I feel so just, I don't know, like almost like a Kardashian but maybe a little bit more glamorous if that's even possible. But my overall like review after trying this palette out for the first time is that I am freaking obsessed with it. I love it and I don't know if it's still available but if it is it's definitely a palette that I would recommend. It's definitely Lady Code approved and I hope you guys have a lot of fun with it because it's super pigmented and with that palette and these lashes you can look like this. But honestly the price point was pretty decent for all of the different color options that you get because you can do so many different looks with all of these colors so I feel like the possibilities are endless when you have a palette that has light colors, dark colors, and then this also has like the nice bronzes and the nice reds. You don't really need like a burgundy palette or a bronze palette because you have everything that you need right here. So I actually think the formula might be better than her bronze and burgundy palette, which would be insane because those two palettes have always been my favorite. And trust me, like I'm not biased, like I would literally tell you if I didn't like it. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you guys did get your hands on this palette and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.